You're watching HTN, Herrick's Television Network. Hi everyone, my name is Honor and I'm here from HTN to interview Mary Larson, the Senior Executive of NAM, the National Association of Music Merchants. NAM Foundation helps support music research, music education, and much more. We're here in the music wing right now, so let's get into it. Hi Mary, how are you? Hi, how are you? Thank I'm you good. so much for having me. Oh, it's no problem. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about NAM? Well, you said it very well. We're the National Association for Music Merchants, and we are 115 years old. Wow. So it's an old uh, business association, and we're made up of music stores and music manufacturers, music publishers. So anyone that makes um, uh, instrument, materials, anything used, even microphones, pro audio, to make music, project music, combine music, compose music, those businesses are our members. So all together, um, we have a big trade show in Anaheim every year, and we are a community, and what we believe in most is music education. So the, the efforts of the, our trade show and all of our NAM members is to um, promote music education and music opportunity for all people to make music. That's really wonderful. Yeah. And can you tell us a little bit more about your role in this foundation? Well, I am Executive Director of the NAM Foundation. And that's what brought us here to the Herricks School District, where we have had a wonderful town hall meeting this morning with the high school band and orchestra and choir performing. And then we have the, a partnership with the John Lennon Educational Tour Bus, which is parked right out there in front of your school, and students are now touring that. And students actually went on the bus yesterday and they composed a song and produced a video. So in a few weeks, you'll have that video available on YouTube, and everybody listening better share it, because it's going to be a hot video. I heard it yesterday. The song was terrific. Really? Yep. Well, I'm so excited to see it. Um, so what are some things that NAM does to help foster music, music education in the country? Well, you know, we were here at Harris for this, um, this town hall and John Lennon uh, residency. This is actually our 17th town hall like this across the country in the last three years. So we've been out in the community a lot with the bus. Um, we've got a bus like that, you want to take it somewhere and you want to share it. So we've been doing this type of work. We also do a lot of advocacy in our nation's capital and was very involved in the creation and the writing of the federal education law, which has strong language in it for music and arts education, thanks to a lot of the work that we did. So we're very proud of that. It took us 10 years. Wow. So, Seems you know, like you're definitely making we, we definitely, um, worked on that very hard. And now we're working on the state level with associations like the music teachers here in New York State and other states um, to make sure that the language and the state plans for the education is strong for music. Because we want what happened here at Herricks to be available in every school district. Not just where there's a tradition and there's a real dedication, but that dedication grows in many school districts. So we're seeing some pretty strong reinstatement of music education. We're concerned when there's cutbacks, it always scares us. But, um, so, and we have a national coalition. So we have the Support Music Coalition. It's through the NAMP Foundation, and anyone can be a part of that. Go to the NAMPFoundation.org and sign up to be a part of the NAMP Foundation. We'll get our newsletters, our advocacy materials, um, the research that we fund, and then we drill down into the language that we can understand and talk about the value of music education. So, um, yeah, it's passionate work because we care about what we heard about here, which was this great program, and we want that this type of program to live and thrive in every community everywhere. Wow, well that's really great. Yeah. And why is it important to you that people all over the country receive good music education? I, th I think people are going to be happier people. <laughs> you know, I, I think, uh, you know, we're very idealistic. We really believe that making music, learning music is going to create a better world for everyone. Um, you know, making music goes back to the birth of our civilization. You know, it, it's a rich, um, mankind has been making music for a long, long, long time. So we want to preserve it, we want to encourage it. Um, our NAM members who are music business people, almost to a person have come out of a music background, or music, they were music teachers, they were performers, um, they ended up in the, in the business world as just sort of a step in that direction. So at heart we believe in music, 
and um, we just really want, um, and we also know that when you learn music, yeah, listening to music is great, but when you learn music, you're transformed from the inside. So um, it's just something that I think will ch is, is, can change the world, has changed the world, and will continue to change the world with more people that are making music. Well, it's so warming to hear that you're so passionate about this. Yeah. And I represent all of our members that have that passion. That's the beauty of it. That's so nice. And can you tell us about some of the music research you funded? Yeah, we've, we've funded, um, for 20 years we've funded music research. So when you hear some of the things like, um, you know, kids who play music have higher test scores, but well, we funded some of that research with that. So, and when you hear about the, how the music, making music can actually change some of the neural bundling in the brain and the way the brain is actually structured, we funded some of that research. So it's very important to fund that work so we have real knowledge that we're not just, oh, I just love it so much, you know. Or just, I mean, that's really important, but when we can say, when we can say, I just love it so much, and it contributes to children's ability to be able to differentiate sound, and therefore they can transfer that skill into learning to read. We've also funded that research, which is kind of logical in a sense, because if you can understand what I'm saying, then when I take you down the road to show you the words that match what I'm saying, you're going to be able to read. But if you can't even take apart what I'm saying because of some auditory delay or developmental delay or just your environment hasn't helped you in that direction, that learning music can actually almost remediate some of those problems. So the connection even to literacy skills, skills has been explored. So um, that's the work that we take to members of Congress and school boards and state school boards and people who are making these decisions to say, don't, don't mess with music education because kids are becoming more musical and is supporting the learning in their, across the curriculum and they feel connected to school. They feel connected. They, we, we haven't done this research, we should and we will, but we know stories of kids that, um, that drop out of school but they sneak back into school for the band class. Well, you I know? think it's really impressive. It creates that community, right? Mm -hmm. It's really impressive everything that your foundation is doing to help kids all over the country. And That's our hope. A little bit at a time. Baby steps. Yeah. So some of our students will be trying the Lennon bus today. And can you explain more about what exactly they'll be experiencing? Yeah, well, a Lennon, the Lennon bus looks like, um, I guess, any commuter bus that would be leaving Long Island and going into New York City. However, it does have, it's very blue, and it has the, the John Lennon piece, let it be symbol on it. Uh, and then the sides pop out, and it is a state-of-the-art recording, video and sound recording studio. So you could go into a sound recording studio, you know, which they're all over Long Island and certainly in New York. But every six months, this bus is outfitted with state-of-the-art technology. So the mixing boards and the video boards and the, you know, the... So the kids, we had seven kids on it yesterday, uh, and they recorded a song, recorded a video, and they're working with sound engineers that are learning the tech technologies. And this bus goes all over the country to junior colleges, community colleges, colleges, high schools such as this, and does this type of residency work. So, um, you know, just kind of inspiring schools to include technology in the music curriculum, um, and um, and just to have hands-on experience with the state-of-the-art music music and audio technology. Well, it definitely sounds really cool. Are you going to tour it later? Um, I'd like to. Yeah, you <laughs> I, try. Really would. I think you might know some people that might help you get on. And what do you hope that our students will take away from this experience? Well, I hope they'll, first of all, they'll feel how much we appreciate what's happening here and we, that they know that We've come here to tell, to tell their story to the nation. We are, we're here to, uh, you know, we, we recorded the town hall, we recorded all the performances, all the things that the administrator said, the students said, uh, teachers said, parents, um, to really be an education component to the rest of the country. Um, 
what it takes to have a great program, what it takes to sustain a program, because any community could have what Herrick's has, uh, because every child has the ability to make music. So if we build for what children can do and what they need, then the community has to come together and build a program that the children have uh, this, all this opportunity. So um, I guess we'll stop working when we're no, no, no longer needed to explain the benefits of music education when every district has this kind of a program. Um, that's our hope. We want every child to have the opportunity uh, that you have here at Herrick's in every school district in America. Well, I certainly hope that every child gets the same opportunities that our students here get. And we hope that, you know, you've enjoyed your time at Herrick's. Uh, do you have any advice that you could give us for Keep going. the music program? Keep going here at Herrick's. Don't drop a quarter note. We, uh, uh, parents, school administrators, teachers, students, uh, it was a thrill to be in the district today and to hear these beautiful ensembles and to meet your smart students and your joyful faces. Uh, there's something very special here and uh, we're just honored that we could be here with you and share a little bit of it. Thank you. Well, of course. Do you have any advice for us? Keep going. Just keep, keep going. Yeah, keep making music and uh, keep inspiring others. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Absolutely. You definitely taught me a lot more about what the NAM Foundation does, and I hope everyone else at home definitely learned more about what it was. And join us at NAMFoundation.org. We've got a newsletter and a lot of activities that you can uh, join with us in the NAM Foundation. Well, I will definitely be going on your website trying to figure out, you know, what I can do to help, and hopefully everyone else will too. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Panora from HTN, and we're out. So,